very quickly before we move on, the article that Mr. Nolan gave us is a little misleading. It does say the KPC group has been contracted to execute a prestigious city of Corona. That is not a job with city of Corona. There's not a project that's come forward. So when we keep hearing that, I, I have to, I know that there's a lot of distrust. I'm not sure how we get over that, but the reality, whether you want to believe it or not, there is not a project. When a, project comes forward or a proposed project, we all meet with them to give, do we want to consider that? Is it something that's possible? We could do that several times a week. One of us or our staff has met with a proposed project. That is not unheard of. In fact, that is what our job is. We work with those that want to come in, do something with it, whether it's in their, someone's backyard or it's a whole project so we've all may have had the opportunity to meet on this. This is his fourth project that he's brought forward. He's looked at medical centers several places. I have been a proponent of Corona Regional Medical Center, and I will say it again, I am. They are our home hospital. I support them 100%. I'm not looking for another hospital. If that comes down the line, then that's something we deal with, but that's not something we're seeking out. Somehow it's been misconstrued and twisted, um, I'm not sure how we can get beyond this, but it is nothing to do with this bridge because back in 2007 when we were discussing this bridge, he was not moving that project forward. He was in another area in town. So when we keep hearing that we're doing this because of that, no, the project for the um, McKinley grade separation had already been started. We've already had the plans. We put it on the shelf because of funding problems. It came off the shelf. At the same time, he had already approached people in the community prior to that. He had nothing to do with us getting the $84 million. Believe what you want to believe. I apologize. I don't know how we're going to get beyond this, but that is the situation. Um, and in regards to the expense report that was commented on Mr. Fox, whether excused and all that, I appreciate that, Mr. Speak. We researched that. Any of us have the opportunity to be gone 60 days, excused or unexcused. And if you don't return in 60 days, then the council has something to do. Mr. Fox, return within the 60 days, so there is no issue that we have to deal with. 